decided to start you right into the fray of Horatio and the challenge here, just to show you what you're gonna be up against if you dare try this. Yeah. I can usually do it, uh, to the point that I have just a little bit of life left. But that's the only way I've been able to do it. It's kind of, kind of luck based. <laughs> this chart is garbage. Horrible. Come on. Music psychoda. So times three speed. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> hate this chart. Sing along. Hate, hate this chart. So, why I hate this chart is because the shot girls are placed so close to the stream that they're practically impossible to dodge. This chart is so bad, in fact, that they changed it for the arcade version of this song. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more fair on the arcade, and it's a 15 instead of a 16. But, uh, another thing that just saddens me about playing it on this is that you don't get the hamster pirate background. You get the generic shock arrow background. Ah! <laughs> really? So anyway, uh, about these shock arrows, there's very, very little room for error if you're trying to avoid shock arrows in those very tight streams, you know, the drills. What they are expecting you to do is to move back to the center, but the chances of you getting both feet off of, an, of both arrows that you're on and then move back to the center is very slim and it's very very ridiculous so I just don't do that I, <laughs> I don't like this chart I don't care to practice this chart in fact I even promised myself I wouldn't play this chart again but I'm doing it one last time on camera for you guys just because I'd like to show you what a bad chart is like <laughs> like that it's garbage but it's possible to pass <laughs> The shock arrows are just too close to the arrow streams. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh, Arceus, why? Why?